What's going on guys? It's Isaac. Today I'm working on my 98 Chevy truck. <clears throat> like a month ago, I'm driving this truck back home and the AC just conks out like 25 miles from home. And I've been sweating my butt off since, putting it politely. So uh, today I'm going to try to figure out where or why I have no AC. I'm pretty sure I have a leak because, uh, well, I had nothing in the uh, system. So I topped it up and I even put some dye in it. So I went and bought this this dye right here from the local uh, auto parts store. And I have a black light right here. So when you shine the light, boom. I mean, it, it is bright. So let's come out to the truck. I'm pretty sure I have some leaking on the uh, compressor. I do. Uh, but it's a light leak. Looks like the O-rings might be leaking here too, but this is a huge leak I'm dealing with. When I put two pounds of Freon in it, the two pounds quit working uh, in 15 minutes like no more AC so it's a, it's a big one so okay I got a little bit of a leak there I got leaks everywhere but not big enough so I'm checking the condenser I don't seem to have any leaks there Oh, looky there. I've got a fluorescent mess. So, so the dye did its job. It uh, appears to be uh, either the condenser or maybe a line. So I'm going to have to remove the grill of the truck and go from there. So I gotta find uh, some, what size is that? It's like a seven or something, I don't know. I hadn't taken one of these apart before. So I'll get the grill apart and get a better look. So guys, I am pretty excited. This is my first job that I've been able to do since my accident. Uh, I tried like a couple of weeks ago to do this and my shoulder was keeping me from even uh, moving around in areas on that truck. Um, it's hard to explain. Like I can bend over and my arm will start, my, my shoulder tightens up, a lot of pain and it has since then started to ease off. I'm starting to get a little bit more mobility. I still can't still can't pick up my arm past my you know shoulders so a little discouraging but hey uh, there is progress and uh, I'm hoping the doctor the doctor says I'll get full mobility I'm hoping he's right so uh, let's get to pulling this grill apart guys so what size is this Seven. I was right. Oh, my God. <sighs> Hope I can find it. need a flashlight to get a better look. I think I've got one right here. Yep. Oh yes, there it is. Right on right on top of the headlight. I can get that. Oh. 
Aha. That can't be right. I only took two screws out to get that grill out. That cannot be right. Okay. Okay. So there's a fitting there and a fitting there. And two 10 millimeter. Oh, I gotta take the uh, the center section apart. But two, two 10 millimeter. Uh, hey, there's a screw right there that's not even attached to anything so this job is not looking too uh, too shabby so I can get a better look here on the on the leak that is a uh, pretty bad so uh, I'm glad I found the uh, problem this fast so I'll be able to get air conditioning again which is gonna be freaking awesome <laughs> Evacuating while I'm going to be so it'll be evacuating while I put the rest of this together.
I now have to top up the truck. I figured I'd go ahead and top it up with the grill off just in case there's a problem. Uh, this truck holds two pounds, so I've got a, I think I, I've got a 30 pound uh, cylinder of Freon. I've got a scale there that I actually measure the weight. So this truck holds two pounds. So I put my uh, Freon bottle on there, and when it gets two pounds lighter, the system's full. So let's top this thing up. Alright, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm just connecting it. So this is a vacuum pump. It pulls a heavy vacuum on the system before filling it up. What it does is it gets rid of all uh, the moisture inside the system. zero it zeroes the uh, yep there we go so now I'm going to turn on the gauge and it is now filling up the system and you can watch as the ounces so there's 16 ounces in a pound so we're almost at a pound we're at 13 ounces 14 it's gonna stop or it's gonna stop right there so I'm going to turn off the high side and I'm gonna crank the truck up with the AC on Turning on the AC. There we go. And the low side is still on. Now we're dropping some more. So we're at a pound, 1.1, 1, .1, 1 pound 2 ounces, 1, point, 1 pound 3 ounces, 1 pound 4 ounces, 1 pound 5 ounces. So when we get to 2 pounds, I'm going to be cutting off the uh, the valve on the low side. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. So we have it going on now. So the high side is about 175 and low side is about 35. That's real good. Hot to the touch, which means it's doing its job. So it's hot here, which means it's going to be cold inside. Oh my goodness. That AC feels fantastic. Ooh, nice and cold. Nice and cold. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna un I'm gonna unhook the tank, put all this stuff away, put the grill on, and head to the house because it is about 10:30 at night. I'm sure my neighbor over here is not appreciating all this noise. 
I would like to adjust the headlights. So I reckon that's it for this video guys. My AC is cold. You can see the... Oh, yeah, you can't see nothing. So, uh, my AC is cold. I am happy as a clam. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll be working on the Biscayne next, guys. I gotta get ready for power tour. I'll catch y'all guys later. Thanks for watching. Yeah, buddy.